Alright, Shalom Alaikum. See, this your brother Mashad a Menace. And uh, I want to welcome y'all back to BBS, where y'all can broadcast services. Y'all know how I rock. I gotta, I gotta give all praise to the Most High, Yahweh, the Father of Yahweh Shah, who the world called Jesus Christ, pre and post incarnate into human flesh, and the Father of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Let's get it. Um, I'm about to read this topic right now. Um, the, the, the name of the topic is called Ex NFL Star Larry Johnson Claims George Floyd Was Sacrificed by Freemasons, a satanic group. I'm about to scroll on down here. Yeah. Just bear with me. Here we go. Um, key points Ex NFL Star Larry Johnson Claims George Floyd Was Sacrificed by Freemasons and Satanic Groups. Johnson linked Stephen Jackson's post to Floyd's death. Jackson embraces the role of being the vocal leader of Floyd's death. Uh, I'm going to read some of uh, this stuff, and then I'm going to write a little bit. Um, former NFL star Larry Johnson, not, you know, just to be clear, this is, this is talking about the brother, uh, not Grandma Ma from NBA, uh, who played with the Charlotte Hornets and New York Knicks. We're talking about Larry Johnson, who played with the... Uh, uh, the Kansas City Chiefs as a running back or something like that. I think he was a two-time Pro Bowler too. You heard me? Um, we're talking about this cat right here, you dig? You know, this Larry Johnson, uh, the running back. It says, has made a bizarre claim that the death of George Floyd was another sacrifice made by Freemasons and other satanic cults. After nine seasons with the NFL, Johnson officially retired and found a new purpose in life. He has been quite obsessed with exposing professional athletes, alleged involvement in secret societies, and even satanic cults. Yeah, satanic, satanic cults. I'm about to say occult. Still the same thing. Um, Johnson's most recent claim involves the controversial death of Floyd after um, being pinned down by police with a knee on his neck. The NFL record holder linked the death of the Minneapolis native to retired NBA player Steven Jackson's posted by Freemasons. Johnson suggested that Floyd was allegedly just another sacrifice of the group like Trayvon Martin, an African-American kid fairly shot by George Zimmerman in 2013. Just like, uh, well, actually it was 2012 when that happened, I believe. Um, I think he was acquitted in 2013 or 14, but, uh, but, but I think Trayvon Martin died in 2012, if I'm not mistaken. It says, uh, just like Trayvon Martin, y'all riding and looting over another Freemason sacrifice to bring you closer to dying in the street. Johnson wrote, about to sc scroll on down, y'all. Yeah. It said, here it is. Um, um, that, 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 that's, that's the, uh, I think it's a Freemason uh, pouch or something like that. A uh, bag or some kind of cloth. And yeah, yeah, here, this, this is a stack five. This is Stephen Jackson's of, um, Instagram account. That's his Instagram account, Stack5. It says, My father's Mason Brothers 33 gave me something to cherish. My dad's gear. We'll be following your foot footstep, Pops. Rest easy. Salute to all his Mason Brothers. And it says, Apparently, Jackson vowed to follow the footsteps of his father, whom he claimed to be a member of the Freemasons. Following the devastating death of Floyd, it has been revealed that he and Jackson were good friends. This has led Johnson to formulate the bizarre theory that Jackson played a huge role in the death of Floyd because of his affiliation with the Freemasons. All right, it says shortly after tweeting the outrageous claim, Johnson followed up with an even more mind-blowing post. The former NFL star posted photos of trash cans which seemingly have a 666 graffiti on it. Why do you think? Out of all the police brutality deaths, Trayvon Martin and George Floyd are the biggest protests nationwide. America will not be honest with itself spiritually or financially, and it will cost a lot of the ignorant. 666 around trash cans, Johnson wrote. Now, this is the the, the thing that he's with. Uh, my bad, I got to go on further down. Yeah, here it is right here. This is what he's referring to, the, the 666 around the trash cans. Now, we do see the number 6 right there. You heard me? Yeah, I don't see six six six, but I do see number six. You know what I mean? Uh, that remains to be seen. 
But uh, I'm going to rant a little bit, like I said I was going to do. Um, it's interesting that the brother brought out um, Trayvon Martin because, because I told it to some of my people uh, a couple of days ago. I even told it to my round yesterday. You understand? Um, I said that it's very, in it's very interesting, man, um, that he is the second Freemason that I know. Now, at first, I, at first I was saying alleged, but I, I don't think it's legend no more. I think more than likely, I mean, no, ain't more than likely. The dude's admitting Stack Five, Stephen Jackson is admitting that he is a Freemason, and so is George Floyd. You understand? So, um, so in 2012, I kept telling people. I said, man, the only reason why I made they're making a big deal out of the demise of Trayvon Martin because Trayvon's father is a uh, is a Freemason. You understand? And that's why another Freemason by name by name of Barack Obama said uh, of this nature that if I were to procreate a son into being, I don't think he said all that, but I'm paraphrasing. He's basically he basically saying if he were to procreate a son into being, because everybody know him just having two daughters, if he were to have a son. He will look like Trayvon Martin. Now, why he couldn't say the same shit about Laquan McDonald, who who died in his fucking hometown, you heard me? Chicago, f uh, two years later in 2014, when he was shot down by the police officers. And, and Laquan McDonald was even trying uh, to, to make any preeminent threats. He tried to walk away, and the police officers still dumped the dude. You understand? How come Barack Obama didn't say nothing about that? You understand? Gotta think about that, you heard me? Run out of time, man. Go hit that like button, hit that share button, hit that subscribe button. Shalom.